Hi Auto Travelers, this is Lynn David Cole with Auto Travel TV. Today I'm in Romeo, Michigan and I'm here with Eric Peterson of Ford. Yeah. And Eric, tell us a little bit about what you do with Ford. Uh, I'm the marketing manager for Edge, Explorer and Flex. So, you know, pricing, product, customer input, try and put it all together into a package for, uh, you know, hit the market. Well, great. Well. Uh, Tell me a little bit about your involvement in the uh, the styling of this, the uh, powertrain, and the engine. Well, I mean, it's a it's it's a huge team, and so really, it, when it comes to developing the product, we're more providing the voice of the customer. So, what do we think the customer will want, or they what do they value? And uh, for Edge, it's primarily three key things that they're going to value. They're going to value technology, so they want the latest and greatest mm -hmm. technology, and so we have that in the form of my Ford Touch. Um, they want fuel economy. So they want great fuel economy, and that's where we'll talk a little bit about the EcoBoost engine, so, 30 miles per gallon, and they want to look good. So we're getting 30 miles per gallon yeah, out of this. 30 miles per gallon in the new uh, EcoBoost that we're out test driving today. So we had 27 before, and what we, what we did is we want to continue to push the envelope because people, again, are more and more sensitive to gas prices every day. It's no, it's no secret. And so you take that input, we want to take a couple of risks and put that in an i4 type uh, package but yet don't lose that fun to drive aspect that I was talking about earlier. Well, great. And I guess you don't lose a lot of performance with this no. going from a V6 to a, a 4. And that's I guess that's the no. real uh, magic No, of the EcoBoost is you get the great economy and right. you don't lose the fun and the performance. Well, and, and you get better torque. So hey, you get better torque oh, in, yeah. the, in the i4 than you do in the, in, in the EcoBoost i4 than you do in the V6. So, so you're getting 270 so, versus 253. So how many pound-feet of torque are we getting? 270. 270. 270, wow. yeah. So it's 253 with the V6. So you get you get the right amount of torque to get you going, and so you don't really feel like there's any compromise in performance. It actually feels absolutely perfect um, in how and how it works, and how it drives, and how it performs. In fact, you know when when you're out there driving it, you you don't even really know you're driving an i4 engine. Most of the i4s you're talking about 100 uh, pound-feet of torque difference. You know between an i4 and a V6. Here it's uh, it's basically on par. Well, that's terrific. This, this looks like the right direction with fuel going uh, yeah. higher and higher and I think people are going to really appreciate this. Yeah. Well, Thank you very you much bet, for Lynn. your time, Eric. Great talking and, to you. Uh, this is Lynn David Cole with Auto Travel TV. Be sure to subscribe up top. If you get any <laughs> questions or comments, leave them down below. <laughs> Lynn David Cole, Auto Travel TV.